everybody, Cassie here from the Hood Canal Salmon Enhancement Group. I am so excited today to be launching Salmon Crossing with you all. Salmon Crossing will include four at-home lessons and one field experience, which will total into five weeks of activity. Uh, the in-field experience will be you going to a local salmon stream wherever you are. Um, we have shared a document with a bunch of resources where you can find a local stream. Um, each week we'll have a different lesson that will pertain to the different salmon life cycle. Um, our first lesson is going to be about the six species of Pacific Northwest salmon. And here at the Salmon Center, we have a hand reminder to be able to remember, so for us to remember all of the six salmon, salmon species of the Pacific Northwest. And you may think that's funny because there's only five fingers here, but you'll find out what, how we get the sixth one here in a second. So we're going to start out having our hand out like just like this. We're going to start over here with our thumb. Our thumb rhymes with the word chum. So it is the chum or the dog salmon for our thumb. Then we're going to go over here to our pointer finger where you might hear somebody say, don't sock your eye out, which reminds us of the salmon, the sock eye, or also known as the kokanee salmon. Then we go into our middle finger, which is also known as our biggest finger. And the biggest salmon is the chinook salmon, which is also known as the king salmon. Then we get into our pointer finger, or into our uh, ring finger, which sometimes you wear a silver ring on it. And also there's a salmon known as the salmon, sam silver salmon, um, or the coho. So the coho or silver salmon on your ring finger. Then we go over here to our um, pinky finger because there is a pink, there is the pink salmon, also known as the humpy salmon because they grow a hump on their back as they get older. Uh, and then, last but not least, we have number six, which is the steelhead. Also, can be known as a trout, but we also have it in the salmon family because of their life cycle that they go through. So, as we know all of the six types of species of specific Northwest salmon now, we can go in and start our first activity. So, the activity is to create your own salmon. Pick out a species, design it the way you want it to be, whether which, whether that depends on what life cycle, or what, what um, stage in the life cycle they are in or um, what habitat they are living in during that time. So not only have you create, will you create one, I have created my own to share with you guys. So this is Charlie the Coho and they are in the spawning season of their adult phase. So this is what they look like. They have a, a lot of the bright red coloring on them with some green up at the top here, brownish, definitely dark colors, bright colors trying to attract a mate. So now that you have seen mine, I want to see yours. So share them on our Facebook page, on our Instagram, um, on social, yeah, just on social media, send them to our email. All of our emails are listed on the um, website. Um, so I hope happy creating and I will catch you guys next week with lesson two on habitats.